Hello there, I'm Black Bright, and yes, feeling a bit better, hence I've taken my glasses off. Um, but yeah, I wanted to talk about the Zambrano principle. How did I come across that? Well, um, I got some headlines about the EU children who may not have any status after Brexit. So I, that made me curious, and I thought, well, let me look, let me read um, the headlines. And it was talking about how um, EU nationals with a uh, permanent resident, you know, that permit, the resident permit, um, that's what entitles them to say that they're settled in the UK. And it's a bit like the biometric, it's the equivalent of the biometric. But it wasn't given out systematically. A bit like the Windrush, you know, with their documents, they weren't documented. So it's a bit like the EU nationals who didn't have permanent, who didn't have the permits. So those ones who don't have the permits because they weren't given out systematically, their children cannot um, prove that their parents were settled at the time they were born, which is a criteria for them being able to remain in the UK. Anyway. Me, with my little nosy self, I decided to look up um, about the permit and other stuff. And one thing tends to lead to another. And I came across the Zambrano principle, which may be very useful. And to me, it's one of the reasons why the UK wants to leave the EU. Well, talking about opening up a can of worms. So anyway, I'm going to have to read it because it's not something that I'm familiar with. It's something that I know if you if you listen, you'll be able to pick up on it the same way I picked up on it. But it's not something I'm able to explain, if that makes sense. But it might help you in your situation. You, If you get legal advice, they can probably help you. So I'm going to read it and hopefully it's helpful. So there's a Brano principle. If a child is a non-EU national, say for example a Nigerian, um, is granted citizenship in an EU country, say for example Spain, the parents of that child have the right to reside and do not require work permits because not granting these rights to parents would be depriving the child of a genuine enjoyment of their citizenship rights under Article 20 of the Treaty of Functioning of the European Union, sometimes known as the TFEU. Therefore, a British citizen who is living in the UK and has never exercised their right of free movement, who is dependent on a third country national, e.g. the Nigerian, is entitled to live and work in the UK because if they cannot, then they themselves are denied their right as EU citizens. In 2012, the Zambrano principle was incorporated into UK regulations when the Immigration European Economic Area Amendment No. 2 Regulations 2012 came into force. So now I'm wondering, does that mean it applies to foreign nationals in the UK? It's very interesting. Um, the following considerations need to apply. The applicant must be the primary carer of a British citizen, i.e. the child or whoever it is under 18 or whoever the um, British citizen is. The British citizen must be residing in the UK that the British citizen would be unable to reside in the UK or in another EEA state if the applicant was required to leave. The Zambrano principle does not apply where a parent or carer is subject to deportation on the grounds of criminality. Um, it might be interesting for you to look up, I didn't want to go into it because it's too long, but look up Price versus Southwark, LBC. Mrs. Price was a Jamaican uh, with twins who were EU citizens. Um, she was able to get help um, even though she, her immigration um, status was tenable because of this Zimbrano principle. So you need to look into that. Price is spelled P-R-Y-C-E. And that's Southwark, S-O-U-T-H-W-A-R-K, L-B-C, which is the local bar council, I believe.
So in short, EU national children and children who are nationals of the non-EU oblique EEA states and Switzerland currently benefit from the right conferred under EU law as a member of UK domestic law. And until exit negotiations are concluded, the UK remains a full member of the EU and all rights and obligations of EU membership remain in force. It looks to me on the surface that the UK is not allowed to kick you out if you've got a child that's born in the UK, provided the parents were had a settled status when that child was born. Because you know they're talking about, oh, if you're not exercising treaty rights and, you know, for foreign nationals, you know, you're not allowed to, you know, you're overstaying and all this kind of stuff. To me, I don't know the ins and outs of it, but it suggests that the child, you know, you hear them talking about the child is the key. It appears that the ch as long as the child is an, a UK citizen, that the parents of that citizen have to be allowed to stay because otherwise the child can't enjoy citizenship rights. Now, of course, those parents have to be primary carers. They have to be the ones who are, you know, looking after the child and with the child. But yeah, it might be worth looking into that Zambrano principle. Um, yeah, and to me, it's probably why the UK wants to get out of the EU quick, because this really covers a lot of people's backs. Anyway, that's all for now. Um, I might not have interpreted it correctly. So like I said, always get um, legal advice. Um, a good immigration lawyer. Um, you can write to me at blackbrightnews at gmail.com and I can refer you to one or you can just go to the Home Office website. They've got lawyers who are registered, um, www.gov.uk. They have lawyers who are registered as well. And also the Law Society. They have lawyers who are registered. So, yeah, it's, it's an interesting one, this one. Um, yeah. OK, that's all for now.